Hey friends, thanks for joining me again today to draw our way through the ABCs. We have been drawing so many wonderful pictures that start with each letter of the alphabet. We drew an apple for the letter A, balloons for the letter B, a cat for the letter C, a dog for the letter D, a egg for the letter E, a frog for the letter F, a giraffe for the letter G, and now we're going to draw something that starts with the letter H. So H makes that sound like <sighs> if you put your hand in front of your mouth, you can, when you make the H sound, you can feel your breath going on your hand. Try it. Put your hand up, go <sighs> right? You feel your breath on your hand. That's the sound that H makes, right? So we're going to be drawing something that starts with the letter H. And of course, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'd like you to try to guess while we're drawing, okay? So you need three things. You remember what they are, right? You need paper, marker, right, and some crayons. Three things. I'm going to move my camera over and let's draw something together that starts with the letter H. All right. So put my camera up here. Right. And I make sure my paper is lined up. Yeah. Okay, so I have my paper, my marker, my crayons, and again, we're holding our paper vertically, which means it's longer from top to bottom than it is from side to side. Okay, I'm going to find the center of my paper, and I'm going to make a square. Squares are a shape that are the same length on each side. They're also a shape that has four sides. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to show you a little trick I like to use when I'm drawing a square. Okay, I'm going to go to the center of my paper and just trace my finger over a little. Make a dot. Go back to your center. Go over to the other side. Make a dot. Okay. I'm just going to connect those two dots. I'm going to go from this dot to that dot. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to go from this dot down. I'm going to try to go just about that far down. Right? Just going to use my eye. It doesn't have to be exact. But I'm trying to make it close to that length. And I'm just going to connect this dot to that dot. Okay. Same over here. I'm going to start at this dot, trace down with my finger, make another dot. Then I can just connect those two dots, right? <gasps> then I have these two dots. I connect them, and we made a square, right? So now on top of this square, I'm going to put a different shape, all right? I'd like to put a triangle up here. Hmm, how do we make a triangle? Well, a triangle has three sides, okay? So I'm gonna make this line right here the bottom of my triangle, and I wanna make two more sides. So I'm gonna go to the center of this line with my finger, trace my finger up, just make a dot. Right, so what I did, I started here, went to the center, I traced my finger up, and I made a dot. Then I'm just going to connect these two dots, right? And again, connect these two dots. And look at that. We made a triangle. So we, we've made two shapes now. We've made a square. And we've made a triangle. 
So remember, this starts with the letter H, that H sound. Any guesses? Hmm. Did you guess that it's a house? Well, you're absolutely right. This is the house part and this is the roof. Let's add some details to our house. There's so many details you could make on a house. Um, let's see, let's make a door. Okay, a door can be like a rectangle, right? So I'm just gonna make a little rectangle there for my door. And I think I'm gonna put a doorknob on it, right? And we also might need some windows. I could put a window here and here. I'm just gonna make squares. Just like we made a big square, we can make a smaller square right there, right? And then over here, I'm gonna make another square. Just one, two, three, four sides a square has, right? Then inside my window, I'm gonna put little window panes. So I just start top of this window, trace down. That's a vertical line, right? And then I'm gonna make a line from side to side, which is called a horizontal line. Do the same thing on this window, a vertical line and a horizontal line, right? What, we could add a chimney to our house, just a little bit of a chimney, right? And maybe our chimney has a little smoke coming out, right? Because the fireplace is on or the furnace is on, right? And there you have it. We made a house. We made a house out of just a couple of shapes. We used a triangle, a square, a rectangle, two squares, and a part of a rectangle there, right? And that's our house. House starts with the letter H. <sighs> that sound. <sighs> house. All right, so let's just go up to the top of our paper. We're going to draw an uppercase H, which is just a line down. Another line down. Connect them in the middle. All right. And then we're going to make a lowercase H. Straight line down, go back up a bit, and give him his little hump there, right? So house starts with the letter H, right? And now the fun part, we get to color our house in. I, ha I think I want to make my house super colorful. Houses are many different colors, right? But today, I'm going to use lots of different colors on my house because I'm feeling really colorful today. So I think I'm going to make my roof blue, right? So I'm just going to trace on the outside of my roof. And remember, what shape is that? That's a triangle. You're right. Okay, so we're just going to color inside that triangle to make the roof of our house, right? I'm going to just use little strokes. I'm doing the top, then I'm going to come down to the side. And you know how I love the sound the crayon makes when it's going on the paper, right? It's just filling in all the spots. Filling in this side over here. Everything got filled in. And now I have a nice blue roof, right? Hmm. My windows. Again, I said today I'm feeling colorful. So I'm going to be real colorful with my windows. I'm going to make one window green. Trace around the outside, right? Just color it in. 
think I'm going to make my other window another color. So I think I'm going to make that window red. All right, and I'm just going to trace around the outside of that square window and color it in. All right. Hmm. That looks great. Now I'm going to go down to my door. I think I'm going to make my door purple. Right? So I'm just going to trace this rectangle, trace around the outside of it to remind myself what I'm coloring. Then I'm going to color it in. Kind of a long shape. So I'm going to move my crayon up and down, right, to fill in that long shape. That's my purple door. Doors are a lot of different colors, right, on houses? The door on my house is white, right? And the door on this house right here is purple. Okay. Hmm, the chimney. I think I'd like to make the chimney orange. So I'm going to trace only the chimney part. And I'm going to color that in orange. Look at how colorful this house is. Okay, and now we just have the rest of the house. And hmm, let me look at my crayons and decide. I think I'm going to use yellow. So come on, yellow. There you go. And I'm going to color the rest of this yellow. So this is a square. I'm going to outline the whole square. That's the area I want to color. All right. But this, whoops, this pan needs to do its job of holding my paper, right? And I broke my crayon, hmm. which is okay. I'm just going to put that little piece back, right? And I'll just use my little part that broke to finish tracing. I want to remember not to color over the windows and door, so I'm just going to trace around them to remind myself, right, not to color on them. Trace around here with my little crayon <laughs> and trace around my door just like that. And then I color it in. I got this little area here to color in. Little areas above the window to the sides of the window. I just have a rectangle here and a rectangle here to color in. Right? Okay. And then I just have the little smoke of my chimney. So let's see. I think I'd like to make that smoke. Whoops, there goes my little crayon that broke. I think I'm going to use red on that smoke because we're just doing lots of different colors, right? Smoke isn't normally red, but today I feel like making my picture lots of different colors, right? I'm using my imagination to just decide on colors that are going to be in my picture, right? And there's a little puff of smoke coming out of the chimney, right? So there we have it. There's our house, and house starts with the letter H, right? I love it. Okay, I'm going to move the camera over and we'll talk about our picture. Okay, so we drew a very colorful house today, right? We have a blue roof, a red window, a green window, a purple door, a yellow front of the house, an orange chimney, and red smoke, right? And that's what we were talking about. You can make your pictures any color you want, right? 
So that was so much fun. We made a house that starts with the letter H. You can hear it at the beginning of the word house. When you say it, it's like house. I can feel my breath on my hand. House, right? House starts with the letter H. That was so much fun. I love drawing with you as we draw our way through the alphabet, okay? Join me again next time when we draw something that starts with the letter J, you're right. Okay, see you next time, guys.